Bank of Day founder Dave Fishwick investigates just what a slippery slope it can be and the best ways to tackle mounting debt. Times are tough. It's thought that around 14 and a half million people are struggling to make ends meet. Everything is becoming more expensive, so people are turning to short-term debt. But unfortunately, that can turn into long-term debt and become a real problem. When money's tight, it's easy to think that borrowing might sort you out. But debt can come in many forms, good and bad. Joe has been struggling with money since his hours were reduced at work. Moved into this house and everything was going well, keeping up with everything. And then, just out at blue, I was just put on a standby. I must have had two days work in about three months. Everything fell behind. Now I've been struggling to get back on top with my rent. And then I've got a water debt that came through a couple of weeks ago. I came to an agreement with them for £20 a month. This month I've had a terrible wage because we've not had days in. So I couldn't afford to pay that back off. It's a loop that I can't get out of. It's almost like you're running to stand still. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly it. Get into your overdraft there. The fee and interest is over £8 a day. Now, that's £250 a month. Yeah. Which is a colossal amount of money out your wage every month to pay an overdraft of £500 a month. Recently I've looked at loans. I would have put myself in a great deep hole of trouble. I really can't remember exact numbers, but I were looking for £2,000 over 24 months, and that's six and a half grand repayment over 24 months. So you were borrowing two? Yeah, and paying back six and a half, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. Plan of action. What we need to do is buy you a little bit of breathing space. I want us to get your bank overdraft frozen. And we can ask them for an interest-free overdraft for a period of time to pay this off, or we can then get you a sustainable loan elsewhere. And I will help you look for that. But one way or another, we need to get that overdraft stopped. Sadly, Joe is not alone. And in desperate times, people can resort to desperate measures. People are struggling to borrow from the high street lenders. And the big problem is the credit score. So then who's next? The loan sharks start circling. And that really does become a problem. We found that there's about a million people in England borrowing from an illegal lender. It's way higher than we previously thought. Matthew Greenwood is from the Centre for Social Justice, an independent think tank. Anyone can be the victim of an illegal lender. We see that people usually have debt to another legal creditor. They're targeting people that they know need help. Who are these loan sharks? And I think there's this kind of understanding that every illegal lender has a kind of baseball bat and knuckle dusters, and that's not really how it manifests itself. We found an awful lot of elderly women who lend illegally. Increasingly, we're seeing a move to people operating online. There isn't a kind of clear-cut figure. Have you got any sort of percentage rates that these illegal lenders lend out at? There's a common method uh, that we hear of quite a lot called double bubble. If I lend you 50 quid, uh, I'd like you to pay me back £100 at the end of the month. And you think, well, hang on a minute, if chances are I don't have £100 at the end of the month, well, that's OK. I'll lend it to you. And now you owe me £200. And it ratchets up. People just can't pay it back. And it really eats away at people. And in extreme cases, illegal lenders can turn violent. No matter what, you should never, ever borrow from loan sharks. Check the credentials. Check if they're regulated. If something's too good to be true, it usually is. Stop loan sharks offers support for those struggling with debt and also works with the police to clamp down on this type of lender. This morning we're um, off to an address in the West Midlands to um, execute a warrant to uh, search the property uh, in respect of um, alleged illegal money lending. Tony Quigley is the head of the illegal money lending team. This morning's been a, a real success. One is now in custody and the officers are in the premises searching for uh, potential evidence. When we do stop a, an illegal money lender, the debt is wiped out and, and that's very satisfying because uh, you see people uh, transform their quality of life. You can, of course, run into issues with legitimate lenders too. As recently as 2019, nearly 40% of UK adults reported missing more than one payment against a debt. I've always spent without thinking about it before, not realising that it's accumulating somewhere. Yamina has run up debts on her credit card. 
it's around three and a half thousand pounds to me it's quite a lot i've accumulated it with some big purchases but also just using it as if it were a current account i had two credit cards so i've put them both in one credit card there's zero interest for like 22 months i think zero interest credit cards are useful but they're a short-term fix the citizens advice bureau offers good advice if you run up bad debt as soon as the citizens advice bureau get involved you can have what they call breathing space, which gives you then two months free of not having to make any payments. In that time, the Citizens Advice Bureau will have a look at your debts for free and will contact the debt people and do deals for you. Does that affect your credit score? What mainly affects your credit score is if you pay your bills on time. If you have a little bit of, of debt that you pay off monthly, that's brilliant for your credit score. But breathing space will not affect your credit score. If you're vulnerable and receiving mental health treatment, there are extra debt respite protections available. So if in doubt, ask. Does it feel better to talk about it? It does, yes. There's millions of people out there in the same boat, you mean. Debt doesn't have to be a one-way ticket. You can come back from it. The key advice is don't ignore it. Draw up a list of your monthly income and spending to work out a plan of action and discuss consolidating loans to reduce your interest payments as much as possible. Talk to the Citizens Advice Bureau or Step Change. They can help you apply for two months breathing space. Dave's advice has been more important than any advice I've ever had. I'm feeling more positive than I've ever felt. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's hopeful and I'm ambitious and I'm ready to achieve the goals that I've set. And that I want to pay off everything I owe and never worry about a single debt again. Be free. The problem with debt is people don't like to talk about it. But I need you to talk about it. I need you to share it. A problem shared is a problem halved. Yeah, absolutely. The more we talk about it, the more people we can help, for sure. Yes, and if you are struggling with some, of the, some form of debt, as Dave says, don't ignore it. We've set up a page that has lots of useful, helpful links. Just go to bbc.co.uk forward slash action line and click on Morning Live.